Play action now, Dalton. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sideline. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's got room. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Defense had a chance to get off the field here on the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and ten. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 40. Calling a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Four yards. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. At the 46-yard line. Dalton, bootlegs out. And he finds his target. It's Schultz. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that. But it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter. It's a good running back dive play. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. They get the first. The decision to run on third and medium winds up being a good one. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs. It gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. Derrick Payne's one of a good number of young defensive tackles in the game. Made a nice stop there. Now in his third year out of Alabama. On second and seven, Dalton. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. Flushed out right. Strong coverage by Washington. And now fourth down. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third. And now they deal with fourth down. For the Cowboy field goal. A 51-yard attempt. His kick is absolutely perfect. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. Three. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. First and 10. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. And they'll be led out by a man making a remarkable return to the football field. It is Alex Smith. I read something prepping for this game that he said prior to, and I think he really said it a few months ago, where he talked about he wants to have the type of season that at the end, He's buying gifts for all the guys who helped him along the way. And I know that the team wants to hold him to that and really get into his wallet. But that's what good leadership gives you. You know, at the end of the season, because you've done a great job, QB, he's usually the guy who springs for the good stuff. Tyrone Crawford busting through to get him for a loss of six. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Throwing on third down, Smith. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. 
So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Take it from just outside the 40. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. Dalton hands off to Elliott. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. First and ten at the 41-yard line. On first and ten, here's Andy Dalton. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. Second and ten, Dalton once more. Taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. They'll run with Elliott. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. And finally taken down at the 20-yard line. That good for 22 and a first down. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, not get loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. And this one quickly to land. They'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, to the catch that ends up in the end zone. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And it will come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. 25 yard now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. From the 30 on second down, Smith. The throw taken in by Sims. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. It's a gain of a yard, and it's third down. Smith on third down. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. The take, Demarcus Lawrence with a sack. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. Fielded at about the 28. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. And 
And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. incomplete. Now that'll forward. bring up second down. Brings yeah, that one sailed down. on him. You've that's got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing, but in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Yeah, he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. A pretty sizable deficit here in the first quarter. This defense will probably need to get off the field in those situations on third down. And you and I both know in this huddle before that last third down play, that's exactly what they talked about, is make the play, just get off the field, just reverse the momentum. Instead, they get hit with another first down, almost back to the drawing board. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Up three yards to go on second down, and they've got three tight ends out there. Jumbo set. Here's Elliott. And he's going to be stopped close to the first down marker at Washington's 12-yard line. 27. Seven yards there and a first down. First and 10 at the 27-yard line. Now Dalton with a first and 10. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down. Let's see what that's about. That's not good enough, man. Clearly wasn't outside of the tackle box. There's your penalty. And accompanying that penalty, a loss of down. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Now left side on the swing pass. Taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. No. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. third down so much about defending the pass is being able to be right there at the moment the ball gets to the receiver and he was right in his hip pocket helping force that incompletion the Cowboys on third down they've been good three for four thus far this will be a tough third and 18 That's what you call rumbling with the ball, Charles. Big man with football. He wasn't just earning lunch, Brandon. He was earning dinner. He was <laughs> midnight snack. <laughs> Everything that you could possibly do, he did it on that play to pick up the ball and go. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This is Tony Pollard. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Cowboys take over first and 10. At their own. And let's gaze our attention on Ezekiel Elliott. He's in his own second quarter, already closing in on a 100-yard game. And that's the magic number for a running back. Anytime you get to that triple digits, that's all you're looking for. But he's got a chance to really exceed that in this one. Yeah, he does. That, that's been the gold standard for a long time, hasn't it, that 100-yard mark? It really has, and that never has to shift because it's in a game. It's a thousand yard mark. I'm wondering since we've gone from 12 to 14 to 16 games. Maybe we need to up that a little. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. C.D. Lamb is intended target. But now it'll be third down. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions. And here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield. He's standing in the pocket. 
but just couldn't find a new one open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. At their own. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. A run here for J.D. McKissick. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Ball carrier. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher, a really nice run. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. A shotgun snap for Smith. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. It's funny, throughout the season, we keep hearing from different coaches and players about the so-called rules, and it's different for each position, but as a quarterback, throwing a crusher by... Actually, with a guy coming, knocking you to the ground like that. I think he was fortunate that didn't get intercepted, fell to the ground incomplete, but you got to really be careful about that one. Yeah, you can break it every now and then, but as a general rule, don't throw across your body. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer. Create space for our runners. And let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. That leverage on this drive. <laughs> Dalton here from the gun. And he slings one that's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Now Dalton. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And he will bring this one back. It is a pick six for a Washington touchdown. Justin. For Andy Dalton last year, and threw three of these, second only to Jameis Winston, seven. And he'll be bitten again with the interception and six points the other way. Extra point good by Hopkins. And the lead is now 14 to 10. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result. And he opted for the touchback. At their own 25-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Dalton and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Dalton right back on the horse after the pick sends. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Intended for An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Second and 10 at the 25-yard line. To throw again. Dalton. Looking for Cooper and it's intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller. Intercepted by When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well, swarming to the ball here in the first half. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Throwing again. And the 
catch made by Dontrell Inman. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Washington on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Open man is Sims. He's got it. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. A 24-yard touchdown. And Washington is able to stretch their lead. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had the feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. Now Potter. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. First and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Amari Cooper and the rest of the offense heading back out there now. A chance maybe here for them to get him more involved. They're down here on the scoreboard, and he's been very quiet. And the silence has been deafening for his team. They don't need that at all. They need fireworks. They need explosive plays. They need him touching the football in any way possible. Maybe go to some jet sweeps. Anything to get him going. There's something to get in the ball. We'll see if they can do it. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. He'll have a first down pass. 23 yards to pick up there. for a Cowboys. First and 10 at the 49. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he's got it across the midfield, striping into Washington territory. These are two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. A gain of two brings up second and eight. From just shy of midfield, Dalton. Inside the 40. 11 yards there. First down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Dalton now to pass. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Another nice gain. 16 yards there at a first down again. down carry by Elliott. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Six. Brings up second and four. From the 16, Dalton. That's caught. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. C.D. Lamb. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Cowboys draw a bit closer. And he's got it to make this eight man seven plays. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Breaks Zerline to kick off for Dallas. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. They're starting to put some space here. You know, the first quarter, they didn't look so hot offensively. This second quarter, though, they looked really good. They jumped in the saddle in a big way now, and now they're in full gallop. I mean, before, <laughs> kind of cantering around a little bit, right, trying to feel their way, not getting done what they wanted to. But somehow they put it together with play calling, execution, and now there's a pretty big gap. And they'll look to make that gap even bigger here. Short throw to the tight end, Thomas. Logan Thomas. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. On third down, Gibson. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And now off to the races down the right side. And did he get in? No, down at the one-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. 
A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. They'll run with Barber. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four yard line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Brings up second. From back at the four, here's second and goal. And he takes it in. Touchdown. Smith's pass complete. From four yards out. And Washington going to add on to their lead. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Now Pollard. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. At their own 35 yard run. Zeke and the Cowboys ready to begin their next drive. And Charles, you can't really fault him. He's over 100 yards already. He's not the reason they're losing. And that is really unusual because ordinarily, when you've set the tone this way and have run it this effectively, usually your team's in control. So it's a very strange situation. And you're right, you can't fault him. He's done a great job for his team thus far. And that's caught inside the 30. are able to show off their quick strike ability. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well. So that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. On first down, it's Smith. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. And this will be caught by his big wide receiver. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Now a first down three to drop there in the middle third of the field. And will bring up second down. Incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. And a sideline pass. That's caught by Thomas. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Smith now on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. The one with the dive look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. Takeover first and 10 at their own 12 The Dallas line. offense back out onto the field. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I'm going to push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. A big play there just before halftime. 46 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. From the gun, Dalton. 
man there complete to Gallup. For a Cowboy touchdown. touchdown. Michael Gallup with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys have retaken the lead. And he's able to put it through. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tiny two-play drive that time. Zerline to kick off for Dallas. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Final 24 seconds of the first half as they come up here first and 10. Out of the gun, Smith. And he'll go underneath with this one to McKissick. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. And this time, they'll just keep this on the ground. And the defense obviously expecting run as well as they're going to shut that one down at the line of scrimmage. Right at the line of scrimmage. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll get you over to Orlando where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports halftime report. Neil Elliott, who put together a solid first half. He's thrown for over 200 yards already, and his guys have the lead as well. As we get you back to Brandon God. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? Fielded near the back of the end zone. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards there and a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, here's Smith. And this is going to be incomplete. Looking to go back to Thomas again. And that'll bring up second down. Incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. Again, Smith. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 36. Gain of 21 yards. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. That catch good for only a couple. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Over the middle, it's Thomas. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Heavy rush, and down he goes. Sean Lee, the long 
one-time vet getting in and getting to the QB. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest ones maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. So they come away from this opening drive of the third quarter with only three, but it doesn't drive me. Yeah, that has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. Dalton and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Out of the gun, he'll throw. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Second down and 10. On second down, it's Elliott. Number 21, Ezekiel That Elliott. second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. And this returnable from Sims. We'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. get this only up to about the 35. The tackle there by Antoine Woods. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver, but he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front, so if they give him any space, he realizes it's his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. First down, Washington. Smith on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Brings up second and two. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. Touchdown, Washington! Touchdown, Antonio Gibson, 38 yards, and Washington has taken the lead. Well, partner, that was another explosive run, and one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit, but for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy. Oh, without a doubt, you need that difference maker lugging the rock. Terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. This is Elliott. Runs through the contact. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. First and 10 at the 23-yard line. First and 10 for Dalton. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. It's funny when I go back to our pregame meeting with Amari Cooper and we mentioned, eh, what if they play man coverage against you? He almost seemed offended by it, didn't he? I'll beat it. That's basically what he said, right? <laughs> I mean, the best receivers we've ever talked to and covered 
When you talk about covering them with one guy, they think that's a personal affront. If they, think they can't just beat one defender, then they're not very good. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. First down. They'll run on first down. Elliott. And a well pass. He's 12 yards that time and a first down. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Passing. It's Dalton. Throw right side taken in by Gallup. But he takes us just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. 24 yard line. First and 10. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 11 more on that one and another first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. That is caught. It's Cooper for the Cowboy touchdown. the grab and the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game and it's up and good so that drives seven plays in length and it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown Rick Zerline to kick off for Dallas so a tie ball game here as the kicks away not be returned it'll come out to the 25 at their own 25 yard line out there set ready for this next drive the washington offense and their lead has evaporated in this third quarter it's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. a nice start to the drive picking up 12 yards there and a very quick first down He's Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Going to give this time to the tailback. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And finally brought down at the 31-yard line. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. Ball carrier. The last run got six, now second and four. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. Now they'll run on the ball. Down right around the 25. Washington on third down. They've converted three times in eight chances. This is third and four. Smith. And they set up the screen. That's complete. On the screen, and it'll bring up fourth down. So unable to get any yardage at all off of the screen there on third down. And ordinarily on third down, that's when you want to bring pressure. You get all your guys who want to get after the quarterback. But how about the patience they showed? Read the play, snuffed it out, and made a nice stop. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But there was a formal play in the back of their mind. They're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? First and 10 at their own 32-yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. And a good physical run that time. He's going to wind up gaining five on that one. Jonathan Allen. Here's second and five now from the 37. Brings up second. Down. Again, it's Allen. <laughs> the 45-yard line. Ezekiel Elliott. That's good for a Cowboys. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? 
tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Good. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. first In Washington 10. territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Get it to their 30-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. First and 10 at the 30th carry here for Elliott. Heck of a broken tackle and able to work this down near the 23. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and From the 24, Dalton. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. Third down. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. Eight yards, first down as they're able to convert. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, it's not a guy they want to see consistently. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Amari Cooper, the intended target, but it's going to be second down. Passing again, Dalton on second and ten. And this is caught. It's Cooper. Second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys have once again taken the lead. And his kick is right through. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. 41. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Danny Johnson returning. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. The drive starts with a completion, left side. Seven yards, the pick up there. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. 15 yards, a first down. A gain of 16 yards. And the Washington first down. On first down, Smith. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. First Call that a very four. strong gain of 24. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. The line of scrimmage. Definitely not how you want to start things on first down, and you don't want to panic. A field goal could get you closer, but you have to think to yourself, we even get another shot. At this point, to me, the thinking has to be touchdown or bust. He's trying to get it to Terry McLaurin, but now it's third and goal. Smith. A 
I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. Cowboy defense comes up with a goal line stand. So the failure to convert no doubt really hurts, but this one's not over. A good chunk of time on the clock and the timeouts. Yeah, not only do they have the timeouts, as you just noted, they're going to get an extra one with the two-minute warning, and that's going to help them big way. So in a sense, they have four timeouts in their pocket. The big thing, stopping them on defense now. They can't let them get a first down and make them use their timeouts and get a fresh set of downs. They've got to stop them right here, and if so, they're still going to get an opportunity. Gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shot. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Oh, boys. First and 10 at the 29 yard line. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one score game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. They're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. So now Dalton. Able to hit his target win. And they'll get this well past midfield before. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Now Elliott. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get him behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Yeah, boy, and it's tough to bring him down that time. He surges forward. He's going to get a full six out of that. Second down. Oh, Brandon, I'm going to tell you, this is football time to me. They're inside the 10-yard line. That's like drawing the line in the sand. Who's going to make the stand here? Defensive guys, they know if he gets in the end zone, this ball game is over. And the guys with the football right now, they're thinking, let's just pound it in there. Got to hold him to three. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? You're pretty much there. Yeah, you've still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. Greg Zerline. The guy after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25. Now Washington down on the scoreboard. A little over 50 seconds remaining. It's an extremely tall order in front of them, but they've got the ball with a first down. On first and 10, Smith. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Complete. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now Smith on first down. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. To throw again on second down. Smith over the middle. It's complete. 
And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 25-yard line. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. and all our crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.